Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to The Random Pick. Happy weekend. I hope you're all having a good time off of work and stuff, hopefully. And just overall having a very relaxing time. Today, we're going to be using special items that are sort of close to that 100k mark, ideally. 75k to 100k is the budget that I've set myself. If you guys would go ahead and smash a thumbs up straight away on this video, I'd greatly appreciate it. On page number three, I decided to go with the 90 rated Yo. Jurgensen, uh, a Danish Feyenoord striker who in the past when I've used him has been a complete beast So hopefully he'll be able to score some goals for us today uh, He's our first random pick player Also don't of course forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here For more of this content FIFA 18 versions of this when it comes out And of course my FIFA 18 player rating prediction videos at the moment as well As well as Fatal So we get a record breaker in this second random pick player out of all of them, I definitely wanted to choose Chicharito just because that card design looks so different and it's not something you see all the time on the game. Uh, and I didn't realize he was under 100k for a record breaker with the stats that he's got. Pretty awesome. Uh, and then on page number 13 for our third and final random pick player today, uh, I've gone for Steven and Zonzi, who is the highest rated player on that page, I do believe. Uh, but he's also one that... I've previously really enjoyed inform versions of Nzonzi, works really hard, uh, and hopefully with the top stats that he's got, he's going to be a complete beast in my midfield. So I've gone for a regular 4-1-2-1-2 today, which is really weird. I don't ever really use that. I, I pretty much solidly use the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow uh, with the center mids instead of the left mid and right mid. But what you'll see today with the squad that we're building, we can easily move to that in game and the left mid and right mid can both play center mid. Uh, and this is where I'm going to be playing each of the three players. Obviously the two strikers and then a CDM for Nzonzi. And then this is the squad that I've built around them. Nice and colorful. Some pretty awesome players in here. So let's get underway. I've got the SBC version or Futmus version of Rufier coming in goal today. He was the best French goalkeeper I had. Uh, I just wanted to get a, a French goalie from a different league that wasn't La Liga into the squad today. I then got Tots Karsdorp and then Vendel at left back and right back uh, with the footies nominee version of Mtiti as well as the 86 rated team of the group stage or knockout stage, whatever one it is. Uh, Raphael Varane. Two very good centre-backs in my opinion. Um, and then our first random pick player is 91 rated Steven Nzonzi. He's got 67 pace, but everything else about him is like way into the 80 club. He's got 92 defending and 95 physical. So hopefully he can do a good job in that role. And then left mid and right mid, which will play centre mids when I change formation in game. We've got uh, end of an era Dirk Kout. And then the in second in form, I think it is, Chalinoglu. So uh, two players that definitely are, are more normally central, in my opinion, and will do a good job. I've also decided to throw a legend in there to one help chemistry out and two. I've got eight games left on my uh, lone version of Del Piero and I really wanted to use him lately. I've just had the hankering of using Del Piero. So he's going to come into the squad today uh, and maybe you guys have got some loan left on your player. But our second round of pick player today is 87 rated Chicharito with 87 pace, 88 dribbling and 90 shooting. This record breaker striker is hopefully going to do the business for us today. Uh, and then Nikolai Jurgensen comes in as our third and final round of pick player and completes the team there. Luckily for him, he gets that nice strong link to the end of an era, Dirk Kout, who's actually got some really good stats, a member of Club 80 and stuff, but 93 shooting, 92 dribbling on a 6 foot 3 striker, and he's got mad physical as well. Hopefully he's good and like for the price that you pay like there's not much risk there you, You're either gonna enjoy him uh, and, and get a ridiculously good value for money player uh, Or you're gonna hate him and let's face it, it doesn't really matter because he's only cost you 40k Even if you sell him for a little bit less you're not gonna lose much coinage So moving on in to the clips that I got with this team. I scored I would say, yeah, I scored like on average around three goals a game. Uh, this particular game that you're seeing clips of, I scored five. Uh, but what did happen is I conceded a lot of goals. And although I love I love Varane, he's great. The left side of my defense with the low-rated Wendell and then <coughs> Mtiti wasn't actually very good at all. So I was leaking goals from that side of my team, that's for sure. We did actually get a goal with Nzonzi. Um, 
When I've used him previously, he's the sort of CDM which doesn't play CDM and he pushes up way too far, but gets goals for the team. Uh, only happened to get one for me in the five games or so that we played today. And uh, he, you know, the goal that he scored was well positioned. And actually, he's hard enough working that he does tend to get back and stuff and help out in that CDM role. Now the goals that we got with Jurgensen. Uh, he's strong and actually quite quick. Definitely feels a little bit sluggish sometimes because of, you know he's six foot three and he doesn't have the the quickest of pace on the game. He's not a ninety plus pacer, that's for sure. Uh, but overall, shooting's pretty mad and physical. You know he, that's that's the best part of his game. He's a very strong player that can hold off defenders nicely. Good for hold up play and stuff. If you've got a two striker formation, which of course we had today, uh, working well with a very sort of flair player in in that cam spot with Del Piero. Uh, who actually was a complete beast. I really love Del Piero. Looks sick in game with them black boots, like completely blackout boots. Uh, and actually can't wait to use icon versions of this guy in FIFA 18. Because there's going to be three versions of him. And you're going to be able to pick and choose which one you want to use. Depending on if you need a little bit more pace. Bit more sort of dribbling and shooting. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but this particular version on FIFA 17 is a complete beast like he's so much fun to use uh, i think he's one of the most usable legends on the game obviously you've got your rude hullets you've got your patrick vieira which people have in foot champs but in terms of like more attacking players on this game i think del piero because of that five star weak foot and the four star skills is one of them players which i think a lot of people sort of pick up and use and have a lot of fun with uh, and i scored some cool goals with him on both his feet you know like i love the five star weak foot uh, part of this this player like playing at cam instead of any further forward you just get someone that's going to bang long shots in for you i think a lot of opponents know that he's got the five star weak foot as well so you can trick people into going whatever way you want you're absolutely fine there uh first goal i'm showing you with chicharito is a little volley in off the post quite a nice little chip through ball as well from uh, del piero to get the ball to him he then he's versatile right so he scores a header here he scored a volley before he'll score on both feet, even though he's only got a three-star weak foot, I was actually seriously impressed with Chicharito's like positioning uh, and just general finishing ability on the on on the game. Uh, he he knows where the back of the net is, and that's how I picture Chicharito in real life, right? Just just a goal scorer. I don't care if it's a tap in, a header at the back post, anything like that. It, this guy Javier Hernandez just finds the back of the net. I actually think West Ham have got a great signing in him. Hopefully he does well in the Premier League this year as well, uh, because. He's a likeable character, right? He's a likeable footballer in this world, and uh, some footballers aren't. So, uh, you know, it's it's good to see someone like him do well. And obviously, uh, lots of people like him on FIFA. Like Castro is a big fan of Chicharito, obviously, being Mexican and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a fan favorite, that's for sure. So those were the goals that we scored with the team. It's time to go through, give everyone a little bit of a rating. I don't rate Rufier at this point in FIFA. His distribution is all right, in my opinion. But other than that, like his stopping and power is not that great. Um, and like I said, right side of my defense was great. Although Karlsdorp, very, very attacking. Varane's good. Uh, but um, TT and, and Wendell, not so much. Uh, I genuinely felt like one side of my defense was a hell of a lot better than the other. And I was definitely leaking goals from either the fact that both of my fullbacks were pushing up too far and leaving just not much back. Or the fact that like MTT just at, is at this stage of the game is not really cutting it against top strikers and whatnot. Uh, but we can rate in Zonzi now. I would say I'm going to give him like a four star value for money and an eight out of ten. So an above average rating for him. But I didn't really expect to pay like nearly a hundred k for him for some reason. I'm not sure why. When when you think about it, actually, it's not a bad price. 85k for a 91 rated player with those stats. Uh, but I just feel like uh, there's there's other people of his caliber on this game that are actually a lot cheaper at this point in time. So I'm not too sure what to think there. Chananoglu was all right. Dirk out, really hard working, great at centre mid. Like him there, uh, and uh, they both did an all right job for me today. But the best, uh, the best part of this team is definitely the front three. I love Del Piero. What an absolute star he is. Just such a fantastic player. It makes me want to go out and buy one for my ultimate team when I'm running out of games left with this lone one that we got like way back at the start of the game. Uh, and then Jurgensen's going to get a four and a half star value for money because he's so cheap for a 90 rated tots. But then a 7.5 out of 10. So higher value for money, but a less, less of a rating because, you know, he got three goals and four assists in five games but I just felt like he was quiet and I don't know why in terms of actual contribution numbers it's the same as Hernandez but Hernandez for me was just a better striker on this game five star value for money and a nine out of ten to get 
to get a record breaker with the stats that he's got for under 100k for like 75k that's actually really good in my opinion uh so yeah that's how i've rated the team today i hope you guys understand it and enjoyed the video it's been a fun one to make uh, the team itself once you change it to that 41212 narrow and actually play chananoglu and kaut as a center mids it works really well because Nzonzi is although he pushes up a little bit too far uh, he's covered by the likes of Dirk Kout who's got that 80 plus defending so he can be he, he can be fine there you've got a lot of flair and stuff with Del Piero he really brings this team together and overall it was a lot of fun smash a like on the video if you've enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here have a great weekend and I'll catch you next time guys peace